Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about one of our four C's, which is collaboration. So to start off, does anyone know what collaboration is? Yes, Katie? Working together. Correct. <laughs> collaboration is working together to complete a common goal. Some skills required to collaborate include active listening skills, respect, manners, positive attitude, focus, and social awareness. A teacher just telling a group of students to work together won't make a productive collaboration. We must teach students how to be good group members through modeling, role playing, discussion, and facilitating. Collaboration can be taught and learned by assigning clear responsibilities, showing students examples, assigning a leader, encouraging self-direction, charting progress, conducting group and self-evaluations, and designing a rubric. For example, in education, we work in groups to collaborate and complete a common goal. This may have been difficult at the beginning because some of us have never worked together. Throughout our JK to grade 12 education, we have used different forms of technology to help us collaborate. The use of Google applications make it easy to work in groups as you can share docs, slides, and other applications to work simultaneously. Through the use of technology, we can gain teamwork skills, leadership, networking, as well as critical thinking skills. Our activity to demonstrate collaboration is landmines. The instructions begin with one group member blindfolded behind a number of obstacles. The rest of the members have to guide the person through the landmines without stepping on them to get to the other side. No, go left. Straight. No. Just right. step over. Go, Go right. Over. Step over. Oh, left. Hey, you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Clearly, that didn't work, and the person that was blindfolded hit the obstacles because the people that were doing the instructions were unclear and didn't work together to give clear instructions of where to go. Okay, so go straight. Now, go to the right a little bit. Good. You're doing good. Straight. That's okay. Keep going. To the right. Straight. You're almost there. Keep going. Yay! Yay! The second round was successful because Vicky and Katie took turns giving instructions and they were calm and positive. Some things to note was that the person who was blindfolded needed to have active listening skills. Katie and Victoria showed respect and manners as well as a positive attitude. The person blindfolded showed focus and social awareness. Here's a list of the following four C's. We've already talked about collaboration, but we're briefly going to touch upon the following three C's, which include communication, critical thinking, and creativity. Communication is an important skill for every student. It involves both speaking and listening. Critical thinking is a higher order cognitive skill that is indispensable to students, readying them to respond to a variety of complex problems that are sure to arise in their personal and professional lives. Creativity is the ability of a person or group to make something new and useful or valuable. It happens in all areas of life, science, art, literature, and music. For more information on the following three C's, please refer to our slideshow. Thanks.